Hello and welcome back to GOT Good Old Tech. I'm Mark Shepard and today we're going to do things a little different as you can see from the intro. Today we're going to get into e-bikes, more specifically how to make your e-bike a smart e-bike. Now I'm going to go over some details about my bike, share with you some smart things that I've done to it to make it a smart and better technology for me. And hopefully if you have an e-bike yourself and you enjoy this video, you could do more things for yourself. Now, before I get into it, I want to ask that you like this video below. When you like this video, it shares it amongst YouTube and we get more people involved in watching this channel so I can make more content for you. So please like this below and help me to share more content for you. Now, as I said, we're going to get into this bike. I'm going to get behind the camera and go into more close detail on this bike and show you what devices I use, even what apps I use to make this smart and make it a healthy and safe bike. Let's start in the back and work our way up front. As you can see here, I've got this nice cargo bag on the back one. What I really like about it is it has a compartment here on the, on the back where you can hold actually cold devices. It's insulated, cold devices, <laughs> cold things like water. You can even put ice in there. It's insulated and it works really good for that you can put food or whatever i keep some tools in there and then these extended bags are really nice this right here you can unzip this you can extend this bag out this thing just clips right down here on the bottom that's the way i got it and you got this big old bag you can unzip and add more cargo on this bike and you can haul quite a bit of stuff and there's a bag on each side it folds up really nice and sleek and convenient i really like it you got a nice cup holder here in the back if you want to use it for that or water bottle holder so it's a really nice bag and the way this is designed it's designed to actually just clip right on and come right off there's a clip right here and just slides on and slides off it's really nice you can slide it off roll things up and carry it away and you have all your stuff with you and it's nice and secure okay so that's what's real nice about this bag it comes off easily Let's go ahead and move on to the back seat here. On this thing, I put a back seat on here for my wife. It is actually spring-loaded. I had to rig it up. It's got a spring underneath it. It's made actually to go on the fronts of the bike, but because I put it on the back for my wife, I put, it, I put that spring loader on, because this bike, believe it or not, does not have any shocks. It's, it's, <laughs> so it could be quite a bouncy ride unless you have shocks. Also, this front seat, actually has a, a shock piston as well. That's something I added. You see the seat goes up and down to give it a nice flexibility so you don't feel all the bumps and holes as you're riding. That makes it a really, really nice, comfortable ride. Now let's move on to talk about the security system of this bike. You know, first off, you want to start with a lock, of course. And this is really nice because this lock comes with its own mount and the mount actually uses bolts that are built into the bike to hold it on, which is really nice. And it holds in there real nicely. And this lock, as you can see, it opens up like so. And then you stick your key in there, you pull the one side out, and you stick it through your wheel. And what I recommend you do is you stick it through the wheel and the frame. So just with that alone, that will keep people from being able to roll the bike away and do anything with it. Okay, so that's secure enough. But of course, if there's a pole or something you can lock it to, I recommend you doing that as well. And I use it a lot, especially when we're traveling. We go to a store, we'll lock it up somewhere securely because it'll take somebody a while to cut through something like that. And in the meantime, I also have a secondary device. I have an alarm system on this thing. And all you do is you press the alarm button to set it. Now the bike is set. So if somebody messes with the bike, you know, just a, a simple touch, it gives them an alarm to say, hey, leave it alone. Then if they go at it again, the alarm goes off. So it's a nice little added security device. I won't tell you where I put the speakers, but you can just hide it anywhere you want it and makes it secure. And that's something that I recommend for all bikes, whether it's an e-bike or not. Now I'm gonna go down and cover a little bit about the new controller I put on this bike. These bikes, they come with controllers and they're installed usually right there, but on top. 
it's bolted down here. I put an actual con controller that is faster. It comes with, I believe, I'm not going to get into specs because I'm not really sure. But this controller, basically what it means is it, it allows to use more power on the motor and the bike goes faster. And with that came a nicer monitor, a color monitor. And I'll show you that in a, in a moment. Now let's talk about the front of this bike and my control center or the cockpit, I mean, what do you want to call it? Um, to make it more interesting and more enjoyable for me, I use a smartphone, as you can see here, this is the Surface Duo 1, and I use it for the dual screen purposes. Every now and then I might use my Fold 4, but I really enjoy this one more because I do have the nice larger two screens. Up on top I have an app called Kamut, and I'll leave a link down below on, on where to find that in the App Store. But this Kamut, what it does is it records your ride. It records the miles you went, the speed, your average speed that you've got, and it also tell you your time in motion, so how long you've been out. So it's really nice, you know, tell you how far you've gone, your speeds, and your current speed. So I really enjoy it for that. And it records it all, and you can save it. You can save your trips. So I really enjoy that. You can see how much time you're getting out of the battery, how far you go, and such things like that. And then on the other side, uh, bottom here, I like to use Google Maps. Typically, I'll put it in the background though, and I'll have a music player here in front. And uh, but I like Google Maps because, especially for out camping, we're going somewhere new. I want it to tell me where we're going, how we're going to get there, and so on and so forth. So I enjoy that. Now over here, you have the bi bike's control center, if you will. It's got the uh, battery, it tells you where your voltage are. It tells you your speed that you're going. It, you can also reset your trip mileage and everything on this as well. And it tells you actually the temperature outside. Like here I am in the shade, it says 87 degrees. That's kind of a nice beneficial thing to know while you're riding. Um, and it's color, which is really nice. And this thing came with the uh, controller, make the bike go a little bit faster. Okay, have a little more power. And what I mean by faster, it's not top end speed. What it do, it'll do, it'll get me zero to 20 quite a bit faster. The, controller that came this gets 0 to 20 it would take about 18 seconds <laughs> and that's a lot believe it or not where this thing brought it down to seven seconds I mean cut it more than half and what's really nice about that is you can get to an intersection really fast if you've got cars in there get out of their way and so on so I do highly recommend upgrading the controller because the one on this is just a little too small over here to the right of that I have a nice turn signal that I added to it it's on the back. It also works as a brake light. As you slow down, the light brightens up. This does have a headlight and a brake light built in, so that's kind of nice. So the turn signal works pretty good as well. And one thing I do want to cover and go over real quickly that adds to the smartness of this bike and the easier and more enjoyable ride is how do you listen to things? You know, clearly when you're riding your bike, you know, you've got traffic and everything around you. What I do is I always wear a helmet, and then I take my earbuds such as these. I use the, the Samsung earbuds. I really enjoy these. Now these are make it really nice. You put them in your ear. You don't have to worry about them. And there's something you must do though to make it safe. There's ambient noise control. You can also do noise reduction or noise cancellation. I turn ambient noise on full. What that does is it picks up all the outside sound and amplifies it so you can hear it. So I can hear a car pulling up. I can hear somebody I can hear children walking on the sidewalk. Then I also get to hear my music. And then I hear the directions from the device. So that's really nice. I highly recommend if you use earbuds, that you use ambient sound turned all the way up so you don't have to worry about cutting out any of your local sounds around you so you can be safe. Just wanted to give you a real quick shot of the front of the bike. As you can see, you've got the headlights on the front and they can stay on and they don't drain your battery much at all. So I recommend keeping it on so you can be seen well and uh, be as safe as you can. Well, that was a quick rundown of my e-bike and some of my accessories or smart devices that I use with it to make it a more enjoyable, more healthy and informing ride. I use this bike. I used it, oh, I got it right after the pandemic started because I knew that I needed to get in better shape. I was very heavy and um, I've lost 30 pounds. Now over the last several months, I've gained some of it back, gained another 10 back, which is tough for me. Uh, a lot of it was due to I had a surgery this last year and 
the fact that the winter was long and I couldn't really get out and ride it. So I'm looking forward to getting out and riding it more, doing more, and sharing more. Well, that wraps up this video today. I want to thank you for sticking with me and tuning in. I want to ask that if you have any questions about anything I cover today, e-bikes, smart visit equipment, smart watches, app, okay, any questions, please leave them in the comments below. I love to answer them. I can either answer them directly or maybe in another video, and I can go into more detail on things as well. I really enjoy the e-bike, and I really enjoy my smart things. I like bringing them together. I have other things I'm going to share with you as well in the future, as in camping equipment and things that I use accessory to all my smart devices. I've got a whole lot of things to share, and I'd be happy to do so. So if you have any questions on anything specific, please leave them in the comments below, and I'll get to those as soon as I can. So thank you again for being with me. If you enjoyed the video, please like this video. Please share it with your friends, and most of all, please subscribe. I want to continue to do more content, and I can only do that with you helping me by sharing, liking, and subscribing to let me know that you're out there and you want more. I'm here to do more, and I love to do more. So if you haven't used anything that I've talked about today, I've just got one thing to say. You've got to try it. Thank you very much, and God bless. Oh,